mysterious pet illness uh, that has caused dogs to get sick in several states, uh, some even dying from this, has pet owners wondering what they can do to keep their pets healthy right here in Utah. New specialist Kara Bracken spoke with a local groomer about the questions that will help make help you make the best decision for your pets. Kara? With this mysterious illness, pet owners may be wondering what is safe for their pet and what they should be avoiding. It all starts with asking the right questions. It has always been a priority to make sure that we are staying clean and sanitary. Maybe you've heard about a respiratory dog illness going around, or maybe you've heard it vaguely described as a mystery illness where dogs, some perfectly healthy, have gotten really sick. Anytime you work with animals, you worry about the transmission of germs, diseases, and other things. Aubrey Slabert um, works with dogs a lot, having been a groomer for years and serving as the owner of Synergy Pet Salon in American Fork. You don't want to wait until there is a mystery illness illness going around to be preventative. According to the LSU School of Veterinary Medicine, 18 states have reported cases. As of earlier this month, Utah is not on that list, with its closest neighbors being Idaho and Colorado. The American Veterinary Medical Association says it's important pet owners keep their dogs up to date on all vaccinations. You'll also hear the general rule of thumb from veterinarians and pet owners to be vigilant at dog parks and other areas where there tend to be a lot of activity and chance for spread of germs. Slabbert says they follow protocols including no dog-to-dog -dog interactions, utilizing kennels to safely separate animals. What we have learned following this virus is that it's transmitted by dog-to-dog -dog interactions, which is going to be them sniffing, licking, saliva. In addition to sanitizing between pets, they also offer one-on-one -on -one pet grooming to allow for more separation if requested. If it's time or past due for Fido to get a haircut, Slavert says pet owners may want to ask their groomer questions about safety protocols. What are your policies? Do you allow any dog-to-dog -dog interactions? Um, how often do you sanitize your equipment in between pets? Things like that. Those are all valid and fair questions. The owner here mentions that a lot of the workers here, they do bring their own pets from home and their crates, mentioning that they feel safe enough here to have their own dogs here. For now, they're reporting. I'm Kara Bracken for KSL 5 News.